worm weights, a little bit of uh, spike it, gold blades here. Mm hmm. Yes. Mmm. Gold bottom dweller. That's what I need right there. Some gold flash. You never done Kegel exercises? I've never done Kegel exercises. I don't know. I have. Never, never even heard of Read that. Read about it. I'm curious. I'll send you an article. All right, give me some reading material. Ah, grown-up stuff, you know? Here's what I got. I always like to just, I like to get a box when I go on a trip, like a special trip, uh, so especially somewhere I've never been before and I'm not taking my boat. I like to get a box so I can just organize some things, you know, do a little research, have some time to you know, really study what's going on down there, focus in on some key things, and then that way, I'm not spending like thousands of dollars on tackle, I just focus in on a few key lures. I always like to just go by the rule of get what you can grab with your hands too. I got a cart today, I kind of broke my rule, but I had to get some extra baits for my buddies that are going down there as well, some extra spinner baits. I probably have uh, a dozen spinner baits in my bags and I've got a separate order of uh, big jigs and a bunch of craw type baits. So when I get my box fully rigged out I will show you guys I should have some other stuff coming in today. Some other big jigs, some other plastics and sort of things. This bad boy is gonna look nice. Get the old I mean it to smell like garlic not plastic. Just got some sweet, tasty juices. Gotta give a shout out to my boy, the Bass Mayor, over at Tackle Addict. If you live in Texas and you need some tackle, number one, it's one of the finest tackle stores I've ever been in. They'll ship it to you real quick if you're in Texas. So I got this super fast from, uh, from my boys over there at Tackle Addict. We are loaded, old jig, baby. Oh my gosh, I love fishing jigs so much. The thump is amazing, it's so good. So I got a bunch of one ounce hack attack jigs, blue craw and uh, watermelon candy. A little sparkleness in there, just rage cross. Very aggressive trailer. Probably gonna lose a lot of these jigs, but it's gonna be worth it when we on Big Mondo. I'm literally just getting so excited thinking about it and making a tackle box. Is that weird? Does that make me a fishing freak? Yes. Do y'all ever get super excited about making tackle? for a trip that you're prepping? Let me know in the comments. You ready to see it? I had to put my jacket on because it's really cold in Texas right now. I don't know if you've paid attention to the social networks out there, but uh, it's actually been snowing in Texas. It's been crazy. Anyways, let's have a peek inside of what I'm gonna be calling the Southern Mondo box, all right? This is very intricate, very precise. I am not gonna deviate very much Normally I would take a little bit more tackle. I've got some inside information that I feel like is pretty accurate. And since it's my first time back on the water, I just want to do what I love. And I love throwing things with skirts, chatter baits, spinner baits, jigs, those things right there. That's my bread and butter. That's what I like to catch bass on. And that's what I've really caught a lot of my biggest bass on, including my biggest bass ever came on a jig. I'm hoping to possibly break that PB, and hopefully it's gonna be on a jig. So take a look inside this box. All righty, let's break it open here. You ever open the, you know, somebody's box where they've just got like all their favorite flipping baits, where it's, you know, their favorite colors, and it's just like bunches of them. It's almost like you just know they're catching a lot of fish on those things. Well. I've never been, been to this specific lake and caught fish on it, but I have caught a lot of fish on these baits that are in here. And with the exception of some of the bigger spinner baits, I've got a whole, whole section here just full of one ounce to one and three eighths ounce spinner baits. I went with these uh, Strike Kings right here. They're probably not the toughest for where I'm gonna be fishing them. I'm gonna be fishing them in some pretty heavy cover, but I'm just looking for those big flashy blades, something that's gonna get down there a little bit deeper. This time of year, the fish are gonna be a little bit deeper down there, and I've got so many jigs, y'all. 
like this is a whole entire section of jigs right here. These were actually some, uh, this brand is called Easy Jigs. And I picked these up. Actually, my good buddy John Thomas Larkin picked these up for me, and they were a dollar a piece. So I was like, heck yeah. There was a tackle store that was going out of business. They were normally like four bucks or so, and uh, they were a dollar a piece. So had to snag those. Snagged a bunch of those. They got, looks like they got a pretty decent hook on them. These are all Hack Attack jigs by Strike King, which is a really nice jig if you like to, if you like to punch grass, if you like to flip really heavy cover these jigs are super good i may modify this a little bit just before i go down there or carry some equipment with me but on jigs this big sometimes i like to increase the skirt size a little bit and then um, i'll actually use a, a wire um, to to put those skirts on so they're not coming off these strike kings are pretty decent though they, they don't seem like they're going to come off but if you ever get like older jigs that have looser bands I recommend just getting some craft wire or some, or some some copper, some inexpensive copper wire and, and hand tying those. I should probably do a video on how to do that. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. So tons of these Strike King jigs. And then for the trailers, this is what we got going on right here. I've got a ton of uh, the Rage Cross, you know, just a, a very, very good trailer. It's been used quite a bit, but uh, they'll still catch fish a uh, summer craw color and even more aggressive is this right here this is a lake fort trophy lures hyper freak and you really have to have a big jig to put this on as a trailer this is a big old flapper right here it makes a lot of water dispersion and if you're throwing this on like a half ounce jig it's really going to slow the jig down a lot and this big old flap it is not going to move as much but if you put this on a one ounce jig and pop it off the bottom it is violent and crazy and big bass will slurp it now other than that i just got some backup gold blades to put on the spinner baits just we're going to be catching kind of some muddier water so um, or some dirty water and then i got some trailers for the spinner baits just using the old classic Kalen's and chartreuse grub and during the winter time i really like to use uh, usually just a white spinner bait and usually a grub on it, um, but water's going to be a little bit warmer down here. Water's a little off color, so we're going with that chartreuse. I've got some uh, some spike it to add more chartreuse if I need to, and that is basically it. I'm debating putting this thing in there. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if I should. That's going to be it for today's video. I can't tell y'all how excited I am to go on this trip. It's gonna be a lot easier than me trying to go out in my lakes right now since it's freezing cold. Literally, we're having snow. I was crunching through ice this morning. That would be a shocker to go out there and try to catch fish right now and just grind. And I don't, I'm not saying I don't like to grind. I grind all year to try to catch fish, but to get back into it, I just wanna have like a really, really, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. An easy experience to try to get my confidence back up. And uh, where we're going, that's way down south. Water's gonna be warmer. There's a lot of fish. They're more active year round. They feed year round. So, it's gonna be good. I do not wanna miss. Oh gosh, I just hit the rod on the ceiling. I'm getting a little too excited because I'm thinking about those mondos down there. You better make sure you subscribe to this channel because you don't wanna miss the big bass action. And hey, who wants to see me Grab that bass by the face for the first time again and give it a sniff, y'all. I'm gonna sniff it so good. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. And let me show you something else real quick. Look at my giant stump, baby. I found this stump years ago and I've been waiting to put something on it for a mount. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my peacock bass, my PB peacock bass on this stump. How cool do y'all think that will be? Because if y'all remember, if you missed the Amazon videos, a lot of the fish came from around those big cedar looking trees. I think they were called macaque somethings. But anyway, this isn't a macaque something. It's not from South America, but it does look very similar. It looks awesome. Looks like a big old bass would just be right up in there ready to slurp a jig on impact. Boosh! Can't wait to feel that big thump again. Big thumps for big stumps. <laughs> Some of y'all may be thinking I'm entirely too excited about bass fishing, especially in the winter time. But if you're new to this channel, fishing has been a therapy mechanism for me 
since I was a teenager after having back surgery and just getting out in the outdoors, spending time on the water, connecting with nature, and just having time to process things and think. And this is like a, this is the biggest return to the water moment ever for me. This is the, probably the longest I've ever been without fishing. And now I have really something to think about to make every cast count. Cause I'm alive, baby. I survived. I had a brain tumor. I had Willis right in the bottom of the base of my brain, sitting on my carotid artery, my optic nerve. I had a, excuse my language, badass surgeon that took it out with confidence and I'm better than I was before I went in. I had a mega ton of support from you guys, my family, everyone. I've just been, it's just been an incredible up and down roller coaster year. Fishing is the center of what I do and how I reconnect and I'm ready to get back on the water. Can't wait to take you with me and I'll see you there, Fishing Freaks.